not recording. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, kia ora, everybody. Hey. Hello, YouTube. Hello, uh, Bookface. Hey, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> um, hey, welcome this morning. I just wanted to do a quick video, just an update. Well, not so much. Well, it is an update, but... Um, of what's going on in the in the Middle East and 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 sort of around the world when we get to it, um, from from a Kiwi pers perspective, um, but this is, I just want to focus on this particular video on what's going on in in um, in the Middle East at the moment. Now, as you all know, there's a bit of a build up uh, in the Middle East of um, there's a bit of tension. Let's put it that way. There's a bit of tension in the Middle East at the moment. Uh, with Iran threatening to launch on Israel, and uh, it's causing a bit of bit of problems within the. It's becoming quite unstable within the region. Um, all the neighbours, some of these neighbours are going, Nah, bro, day now, don't do that, now. And then uh, you got some who are saying, Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it, do it, bro. I do, you, I do. You. And, and that's basically what it does, you know, in the Middle East when you threaten another country. Uh, it's a sign of weakness if you back down. So, you know, Iran have got to follow through. In theory, they've got to follow through. But they can't afford to, yeah? They can't afford to. It will decimate their economy uh, wholeheartedly. Um, so what they might do, and if you have a look at the terrain between Iran and Israel, and if we bring up, I should have done this earlier, uh, if we bring up Google Earth, and I think it's like 1,200 kilometers uh, between Iran and, um, and Jerusalem. Iran. Right, so if you have a look at Iran, and we measure between central Iran and Jerusalem and it's 1800 kilometers so they have to send missiles right that's all they can send at the moment because they'll get shot down if they try and send any of their planes they'll get a hiding bro because the Americans have got F-22s in the in the house they have F-22s in the house and they're probably flying over Iran at the moment and the, and the Iranians don't even know um, but you know They'll get wasted. They get wasted. So, and and Iran have a stockpile of over two hundred thousand uh, uh, missiles. I feel, in my opinion, I believe what they're going to try and do is overwhelm Israel's uh, Iron Dome, uh, and hope that uh, some of their missiles get through. They only need some of them to get through to cause a bit of damage, and. Uh, either overwhelm the Iron Dome so they can launch some other weapons. Now, we do know that uh, Iran have now have nuclear capabilities. Um, or they could use one of their proxies. Now, they have many proxies. They have the Houthi down here. And they have, um, and then they have Hamas over here in the Gaza. Uh, but they also have um, Hezbollah here in Lebanon. As you can see, Lebanon is a lot closer. And um, they could do some damage as well. But the interesting thing about um, Lebanon, and for those of you who are Christians will be aware that in the Bible it talks about the destruction of Damascus, which is here in Lebanon. And I found another verse in the Bible, and I won't do it at the moment, but we'll, I will later. We'll look at these uh, verses in the Bible that speak about these. Uh, but there's a city, a little city over here, called Sidon. And uh, that's another one that's talked in the Bible that talks about getting uh, wiped off the face of the earth. Never to be lived in again, apparently especially here in Damascus, 
apparently. Um, so this is why I believe that the initial attack may come from Lebanon, because uh, then Jerusalem would have to respond. And if it's significant enough, you know, and according to what the Bible says, um, Jerusalem, uh, Israel would have to wipe them off the face of the earth. I don't know. But nowhere in the Bible does it talk about Israel getting wiped off the face of the earth. So when you hear threats of Iran threatening to annihilate Israel and wipe them off the face of the earth, uh, yeah, nah. I don't, I don't believe that's what is going to happen at all. Um, but interesting enough, today, or yesterday, there was an earthquake in Israel, <laughs> in northern Israel, a 5.5 Earthquake struck the Jordan, Jordan Syria region on Tuesday. Um, so maybe God was going to have the last say about who does what where and when. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. The quake was at a depth of uh, 10, point, uh, 10 kilometers or 6.21 miles. Uh, regional quake, a 4.8. Magnitude earthquake struck Jordan and Syria later on Monday, according to the German Research Centre of Geoscience, with residents across both countries and in Lebanon feeling its impact. So, <laughs> God's saying, I get the last say, bro, not you fellas. Hey, not you fellas. Um, so, there, that's just another interesting uh, fact about what's going on and who's this? Who's this? What is he up to? Is the uh, UK Royal Air Force, uh, KC, you know, another sub hunter. It's another sub hunter. Look at his track. He's been back and forth and around here. And landing. Is this airport? Is that an airport? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Looks like he's been, been doing a bit of reconnaissance. Uh, but surprisingly enough, there isn't isn't much up in the air. Mind you, it is two a.m. in the in the morning over there, or about two a.m. Uh, so nothing much happening at the moment that we can see. U.S. Air Force Strata tanker, another tanker refueling tanker. So there may be a couple of uh, military uh, other military aircraft up in the air requiring refueling. That's why he's up in the air. How high is he? 28,000 feet? Yeah, no, he's up refueling. Um, but when we hear some more, it will definitely get back. So that's just a very short report on what is happening in the Middle East, building up very slowly. There was a whole lot of activity uh, yesterday. Uh, I was tracking a couple of um, typhoons uh, that were in, in, um, in the air yesterday, flying up and down the coast. I um, haven't seen typhoons much in the air. And um, there was a squadron of other uh, aircraft flying just across the border uh, along Jordan and um, Iraq. Uh, so interesting developments. And, and as we hear more, I'll do another couple of videos about what is actually going on in the region. Um, but that's it for now. I'm going back to breakfast. Have my breakfast and we'll catch up with you all later. Cheers. Bye. See you all. God bless. Take care everyone.